Hello Reception. This week in your home learning prep you've got two writing tasks to do. I've already looked at the first one with you which was writing about Jasper's beanstalk and making a diary of what Jasper did each day of the week. Now we're moving on to writing about the lovely pictures that you've been making. Now on your home learning pack, I've printed this one off just in black and white, there's the information here. It's about the picture that you've sent to Fogs, I hope, those lovely pictures you've been drawing that the Fogs are very kindly putting together to make into class photographs for us. Now, Mrs. Howard thought, seeing as you'd worked so hard on making those pictures, it would be nice if you could write about them. And so if I read what she said, she says, when you have drawn your picture, write about yourself on a separate piece of paper. Describe your features and ask your adult to take a picture of it to send to us, please. So, to show you what we want, I'm going to write about my picture that I've sent to Fox. So, we're going to move on to that now. Now, when we describe ourselves, we need to use lots of describing words. And there's a special word that we're going to talk about today. It's called an adjective. That's a type of word that tells us more about something. It might tell us what it looks like, what colour it is, what shape it is. Lots of different words can be adjectives. So I'm going to write some sentences with some adjectives now. I'm going to write the sentences about my picture because just like you, the teachers have been making pictures to go on those class photographs. I'll move that to one side. And here is the picture that I've made of me. I got some fabric and I did a bit of sewing to make my picture. I wonder what you use to make your picture. So I'm going to look at the picture and describe how I look on the picture. So maybe I'll talk about what I'm wearing. I could talk about my flowery top or I could talk about my blue trousers. I think I might talk about the trousers. Let me think of a sentence. I'm going to say, I am wearing trousers. I don't think that's good enough though because there wasn't a describing word in there. I'll have another go. I am wearing blue trousers. Five words. Blue is a describing word. So I'm going to write I, finger space, am, finger space, wearing. Wearing has a trigraph in it. Can you hear what's at the beginning? I am all. That's right. It's a what. Now the next sound is air and we learnt about air like in chair and that's a trigraph. This time that's a bit cheeky because the way that we write air is the one that we've learnt that says ear. It can be so confusing when we do writing. Wear, that's the air bit. I am wearing it in, oh can you read here? On the end of that is one of those strong man Diagraphs. I can't speak on the sheet. Can you see it? Oh, there it is. Mm, I am wearing, and my describing word was blue, blue. I've spelt a new line for when I just face. Trow. Oh, that's that owl that's written a different way. Trouser. Oh, I thought maybe uh, like on the end of rubber. Trousers. What's on the end of that? Trousers. Finish my sentence, so I need a full stop. Now read it to check it. I am wearing blue trousers. What else I could say about my picture? Hmm, I could talk about my top, or I could talk about. Oh, I could talk about my eyes, but I just did my eyes black. But I know my eyes are green. I could write about those. I know. I could write about my hair. I don't want to use a colour this time. I'm going to say, I have got short hair. Because it is quite short, really. I have got short hair. Five words. I, finger space, have. That's one of our tricky words because it sounds like it's just put A, but then it's got a sneaky bit on the end. I have, what was my next word going to be? I have short. Let's look for that diagraph to help us sh for shoe is the same as sh for short i have sh what's the next sound sh oh that's right it's all like in fork so 
感じがしたね。おしょう。しょう。しょう。しょう。は。で、ね、it's that side of air like in chair。which is the thing this time。Finish my sentence. What did I need? That's better. Full stop. Let's read the writing together. I am wearing blue trousers. I have short hair. Let's find the adjectives together, and I'll put a, a bubble round them. I could have just written, "I am wearing trousers." That would be true, but to make it a little bit more interesting, I said, "I am wearing blue trousers." And that word is my describing word. It describes what the trousers are like. It describes what colour they are. So that's one adjective. Can you spot the adjective in this sentence? I have short hair. I could have just said I have hair, but that wouldn't have been very interesting. It wouldn't have told us any information. So I have put my adjective in short. Let's put a bubble around that. Well done, Mrs. Barker. You used two adjectives in your sentences. Let's read it together. I am wearing blue trousers. I have short hair. When you have done your writing, please send us a photograph. We love getting photographs of your writing. We really miss seeing it every day. And we love seeing how hard you're working at home with your mums and dads and other people. Well done.